To me, music is the world. You can travel through music, you can paint through music, you can dance to music. It's just everything. Cabbage in the garden will grow a larger head if it hears music. A cow will give more milk if she hears music. So music will soothe the savage beast. Music means life to me. It's born in us. The world would be desolate for children without music. My name is Alberta Jones and I am 85 years of age. I was born in a Baptist minister's home. My mother was a singer. She had a powerful voice. She couldn't read music, but she could sing and she could also play by ear. In Clarksdale, the music was mostly religious. There was not much variety. There was nothing like opera or plays or cantatas or things of that nature. When I was a student, I was fortunate enough to hear to go to Marion Anderson's concert. And I said, that's for me. I went to Spelman College in 1944. I made a decision that I was going to learn and try to teach after I learned all types of music. All types. Clarksdale needed everything because Clarksdale was a two kind of music town. They liked the blues and of course the church. I was able to introduce classical music when I first began to teach. But I didn't say you're learning classical music because that was a bad word. Everything had to be religious. Because uh, we were segregated on this side of town, we did not have facilities that they had on the other side of town. But fortunately, I had some friends who would uh, slip me a piece of music or two. We'd make copies and end up singing the same things on both sides of town. Things were totally changed in Higgins with the uh, change of principles. W. A. Higgins was the principal. Mr. Higgins went out of his way to get us to places that uh, the board did not pay for us to go. Anything that he found out was going on in music that his children, his students could be a part of, he saw that we got there. When Miss Jones came on the scene here to teach music, I was in elementary school. She worked at Higgins all the while, and she had a very good choir. They would go to competition. They would always come back with first place. So I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna be in that too. Those half notes and quarter notes. The first quarter note has a little ledger line or imaginary line. Remember me talking about that? I think I was born to do music with Mrs. Jones teaching me, it fostered my musical growth. I started studying Miss Jones, I think about when I was like eighth grade, uh, here at Higgins. Mrs. Jones was just not the person just sell her for anything. She wanted your best. One day we asked her, Miss Jones, how do, how do we sound? And she looked at us, she said, uh, you tell me. We asked no more questions. That was it. He 
if you sing off pitch, she tear you off. If you sang well, she praised you, you know. I'm waiting on you, sweetheart. That's not it. Okay, put it on there. D. 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 Ms. Jones was hard on us because if she saw potential in you, she pulled it out of you. And that's what I do today. She built this group of the Delta Singing Boys. We went to Saltillo, Mexico to be a part of a national singing boy choir convention. And we had no blazers. So we went downtown and bought sombreros and capes. We had like sombreros, little ponchos, and our regular clothes and we were just the spotlight, you know, here is this black group in Mexico. We did, i never forget, we did the uh, Battle Hymn of Republic. But that was an experience that she just really wanted to give us, and we accepted that. Donnell Turner was such a, a diligent, hard-working student. Pick out the note that you hear here. Pick out the note that you hear, and your voice line. See if you come out with it right. Listen to what I'm doing. Look when I did retire, I went straight to his house and told him to apply for my job because I've gone. And he did, and he got it. Mr. Turner uh, at Higgins is an eagle beaver. I think he's worse than Miss Jones. Pull it, pull it, pull it. You're doing what I want you to do, baby, Alto. He's very competitive. Ms. Jones just would say, do your best. But Mr. Turner requires you to do a little above your best because he demands first place. And that's a good thing, because when you push yourself, you push your students. If they see that you are caring, then they care. Today, the facility at Higgins, where Mrs. Jones taught, it now is the state of the art. Every school would desire to have that. We have what, what I call the d program. We have dance at all grade levels, so our 6th, 7th, and 8th graders are able to uh, be exposed to dance from a global perspective. Um, then we have our arts classes. Uh, we're a band. We have choir and that's the class that Mr. Uh, Turner teaches. We have keyboarding as well, and, uh, and strings, and we have kids playing the violin uh, in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. They have a recording studio. We've never had that in Clarksdale's history that I know of. The new facility, the Performing Arts Center, is, is set up in a way that uh, will show that we are um, on the cutting edge of bringing in new uh, spins on music. This community from the outside will see that we are more than just blues. To be able to practice at the high school, elementary, junior high level and have it done right is, is a blessing. 